Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video, another plug side chat. In this video I have uh, some harsh words for GM. You're probably aware of a recent article that was released, I think it first came out on GM Authority, I'm not sure who did the original interview, but it was with Mike Abelson, VP of Global uh, Strategy. For GM and in that interview he had basically said that there were no plans for AV or EV pickups essentially autonomous driving or EV battery electric pickup trucks so I think it was a huge error in judgment and in terms of the words that were used now before I get into that I, I do want to say that I don't think it's necessarily as bad as some people are making it out to be because of how involved GM is in electric vehicles they've made a very clear distinction between electric and electrified vehicles so when someone from GM says that they have no plans for electric trucks I believe what that means is no plans for pure battery electric trucks and that doesn't surprise me given the level of technology where batteries are today i think most people agree that in order to preserve the functionality that we currently see from trucks you'd really need some sort of alternative fuel type besides battery electric you know for shorter ranges not really heavy duty not really towing yeah you're, you're going to be able to get away with a battery electric truck but GM, they have experience with hydrogen fuel cells. They have experience with like the Boltec platform, which again would be considered electrified, but not necessarily electric. Now, that being said, I think Mike Abelson made some serious errors in his word choice and what he chose to say, right? And a couple of the things that I think were trigger words, if you will, what he was saying is we at GM, we're not going to be producing electric trucks for decades to come well based on that recent un ipcc report we as a species as a society as a planet we don't have decades we might not even have a decade and so to say that you know one of the grossest polluters in a segment that contributes about a quarter of the overall greenhouse gas emissions isn't even going to be addressed for decades to come that comes across as being a bit naive and it rubs a lot of people the wrong way rightly so the overlap between people who are buying pickup trucks and people who are buying electric vehicles is very small but I think GM needs to recognize that a lot of people who are interested in pure battery electric personal transportation other than pickup trucks, they might not want to support a company that doesn't at least offer an electric truck option. And I think it would be a major mistake for GM, frankly, to not have at least the option for every vehicle in their lineup to have a plug within a decade. And by that, I mean 2028. If by 2028, there isn't an electrified option for every vehicle in GM's lineup, they're on the wrong track. And again, by that point in time, it just might be too late anyway. And this is something that I think honestly needs to be addressed at Mary Barra's level because it goes beyond just the consumers. This gets into the investors as well. While sure, there are probably some investors that want to be reassured that the highest profit margin vehicles that GM is building right now aren't going away. But frankly, I, I think they're a very unimportant investor. And there are a lot of investors now who are divesting from pretty much anything to do with fossil fuels on the national level and on the private funding level. So you're walking hand in hand with an industry that people are divesting from. It's not necessarily a, a wise choice. And in addition to that, there's discord. What this says 
from someone from the outside looking in is that there's discord between GM's strategies, even at a global level. So what Mary Barra said in her presentation to Barclays has been essentially contradicted by a VP of global strategy. And that sort of discord within the ranks or possibly dissent, who knows what it is, it needs to be addressed from the top down. It needs to be explained in very clear terms what Mike Abelson was trying to say, what GM's plans are. And, and the other thing is, it does demonstrate a weakness at, at a corporate level, which again, further affects investors because investors want to know, even if you don't have immediate plans to provide all electric trucks, you at least have the agility as a company to be able to pivot in that direction. You don't want to be the last one standing producing these horribly inefficient vehicles running on a fuel source that most of the world is turning against. If you don't at least have alternatives lined up and available to customers well before that decades mark, you look weak as a company. You look like a company that people don't want to put their money in because they don't have faith that you have a cohesive strategy from the top down. There's sort of discord and you know, dissent within the ranks in terms of what the company's strategy is, and you just don't have the capability or capacity to meet the shifting demands of consumers. This is what nearly led to GM's demise in, in 2008 when they needed a federal bailout. It's important to not walk in that same path again that led to failure. You know, as a company, you need to learn from those mistakes, and that should have been a huge wake up call. I'm interested in what you think. Am I on the mark with this, do you think I'm giving GM too much credit for possibly having plans to electrify their pickup fleet? Am I, you know, not giving them enough credit? Do you think that, uh, you know, Mike Abelson was speaking out of turn? Or do you think his uh, words actually truly reflect GM's global strategy? I'm curious what you think. And uh, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And Thank you for watching.